Hello friends. Welcome to my new data structures and algorithms in Java tutorial series video. Friends. In this tutorial we will discuss, how to find length of a linked list in Java. Let's find length of a linked list shown in slide. Below is the algorithm for this. We will create a temporary node by name current. Initially, it points to null value. Let's execute below algorithm, and see how it helps in finding length of a linked list. First step is to make current node point to head. Second step is to create an integer variable count, and initialize it to zero. Third step is to execute few steps in a while loop. The while loop executes till current node is equal to null. It simply means, when current node becomes null, the list has reached its end. And there are no more elements to count. Currently, current node points to head, which is not null. Thus, statements in a while loop executes. First statement increments count by 1, because current is not null, and signifies list has one node. The count becomes 1. Moving to next step. Here currently, current node points to head, and current's next points to second node. Second statement assigns current's next node to current. That is, it traverses current node to second node. Now again it checks for while loop condition. Current node points to second node, which is not null. Therefore it again executes statement in a while loop as demonstrated. Count gets increment by 1, and becomes 2, because current is not null, and signifies list has two nodes. And Current node now traverses to current's next node, that is third node. Similarly. Now again it checks for while loop condition. Current node points to third node, which is not null. Therefore it again executes statement in a while loop as demonstrated. Count gets increment by 1, and becomes 3, because current is not null, and signifies list has 3 nodes. And Current node now traverses to current's next node, that is 4th node. Once again, it checks for while loop condition. Current node points to fourth node, which is not null. Therefore it again executes statement in a while loop as demonstrated. Count gets increment by 1, and becomes 4, because current is not null, and signifies list has 4 nodes. And Current node now traverses to current's next node. That is, element next to fourth node is null. This signifies that list has reached its end. And there are no more elements to traverse. Now when it checks for while loop condition. Current node points to null, therefore while loop condition fails. And loop terminates. Thus, final count value represents size of linked list, that is 4. Thus, through this demo we saw. How to traverse complete list one by one, and count number of nodes it holds. Let's move to Eclipse and see it's working through code. Usually, interview question would be, given list node head, find out length of linked list. In singly linked list class, we create a method by name, length with a return type as, int. This method takes in list node as argument, which is head of the linked list. Let's code in length method what we demonstrated in the slide. First, we make a check that, if head is null, that is if list is empty, then simply return zero as length, as there are no elements in list. Moving further, create an integer variable count, and initialize it to zero. Also, 
create a temporary list node by name current, and make it point to head node. Moving further, we loop each element in a linked list till end. Usually last node points to null. Therefore, we create a while loop with a condition that, till current become null, execute few steps in iteration. In while loop. First step is to increment count by 1, as it hold count of number of nodes in a list. Second step is to move current node to next node. After while loop terminates, just return count value. The count value will be the length of linked list. Let's test its working. In our previous tutorial we created a linked list with 4 nodes. Let's use it. We print. Length of linked list is. And call its length method by passing head node to it. Let's run this Java program. You can see, it prints length of linked list as 4. Thus, in this tutorial, we saw how to traverse list nodes one by one, and find out length of linked list. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to find length of a linked list in Java, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.